All right, guys, got another bowling ball video for you here today. Uh, if you missed out, we previously did uh, pistol calibers, also did shotgun slugs, different gauges. I'll put a link in the description of those videos if you missed it. But for videos like those, this one, and more, uh, check out the caliber comparisons playlist on the channel. So we got these bowling balls here today to hit with center fire rifle. Um, we're going to hit them with 223. 556 five, both those on the left 223 556 five, um, actually the one on the left is a 223 and then I got the green tip 56 there because I'm sure you guys would want to see that so I think it's gonna stop the 223 FMJ there and maybe the green tip will go out the back we'll see then I got 762 by 39 there 450 Bushmaster and 270 Winchester so there's a quick look at the ammo we're using. 55 grain FMJ for the 223. 62 grain green tip there with the little penetrator core. Um, for the 5.56, 760 by 39 is just your standard 123 grain FMJ there. The 450 Bushmaster, got that little ballistic tip, Hornady, 400, uh, 250 grains. And then just 130 grain soft point there for the 270. I do FMJ for all of them guys, but you can't really get FMJ in the 450 or uh, 270 Winchester there, so there's nothing I could do about that anyways, unless you went with like specialized rounds or penetrator or whatever. So this is just standard run of the mill, off the shelf ammo here. So I got four different balls. The other two is over here. If I have one that's lighter for some reason, I'll use the smallest caliber on that. Um, so the one, uh, we'll have to hit the smallest, lightest one with the 223 and 556, but I don't think it's going to blow it up or anything like that. So should be fine to take two shots on that one. But the others, um, the other three calibers have their own balls. All right, be set out 25 yards there, and I got the GoPro down on that log there. So we'll get some up-close footage and decent slow-mo uh, rifles I'm using today. So for the 450 Mossberg uh, Patriot there, I think it's a 20 inch barrel if I remember correctly. Um, then we got a 20 or 22 inch barrel uh, Ruger American here for the 270. Then using 16 inch barrel 762 by 39 and a 16 inch barrel for the 223 556 here. And I want to thank my buddy John at Boomstick Revenge for the range time today. Go check him out. All right, here we go with the 55 grain FMJ 223. Only expected little pinhole from that, so go check it out. I didn't even see it move though. <laughs> Dead center. I told you that wouldn't do much. Obviously, nothing out the back, so. And this one was larger than the rest of these, so I'm using this with the 223556. That way, the bigger calibers all have pretty much equal balls. Of course, I have no idea what's inside of those, but this one was larger than the rest, so that's why I separated this one. We're using it first, so pretty much a dead center shot there. So we'll try that green tip now and see if maybe that'll make it out the other side. All right, can't get a focus, but there's the green tip. I feel like I pulled that slightly left, but I think we still hit the ball. <laughs> well, it moved, so I think that was actually it. I didn't pull left. So that was the, it should have been the 55 grain FMJ, and there's the 62 grain green tip. Got a little crack going now, but the real question is did it make it out the back? Of course, we got finger holes and such back here. I'll have to look down in those, but I don't think it went through. 
no hole in that finger hole. Those are too low, so stop the green tip too, which is interesting because in the uh, pistol video, I didn't catch it in the video. I caught it after the video when I was cleaning up, and uh, there was a 45 bullet stuck like right in the middle of the ball. And the 223556 still didn't make it out. I was looking at that, but that's no hole. It's just like part of the ball. So, yeah. I'll have to hit that with something bigger when we're done. All right. I'm going to swap out the upper here. And try the 762 by 39. That was a lot better. I honestly didn't expect it to do, like I expected to take a chunk out, but it split it in half. Those do penetrate a lot farther than 5.56, five, usually, especially in the uh, harder barriers. Wow, yeah, it just like tore right through it. <laughs> cool. So hopefully the uh, 270 and 450 is going to be even cooler. That's awesome. All right, here's the 270. Check my shot placement, but that's real surprising. The again, you know, probably different bowling balls and whatnot, but the 762 by 39 shattered that one, and it's like the 270 just put a hole in this one. Yeah, it was a dead center hit too. <laughs> I don't see there's just like cobwebs and crap down in there so it didn't make it out the back and it just put a freaking hole in it so no surprise with it being a soft point that it didn't make it out the back so maybe that's the trick you need uh something with enough power to get all the way through and which also means it needs to be an fmj um so we'll see what the 450 does now then I think the 450 at least blasts a chunk off the front. We'll see. 450 Bushmaster. It looks like it did exactly what I predicted, chunk off the front.
This is the back side. And yep, just took a chunk off the front. Obviously no exit. So that was interesting. I did expect the 270 to do more than just put a freaking hole in it. So I'm going to finish these off with the 7.62x39 now since that seemed to do the best job. Need more ammo. So apparently some of those were tougher than others, but unless you can afford to go out and buy a whole bunch of brand new bowling balls that are all the same, I guess that's what you get. She's good at finishing them off there. Uh, look at this mess I got to clean up now. What do you guys think? I, I'm sure it was somewhat fun watching, but it, it's got to be a heck of a lot more fun doing it. It was awesome just being able to blast those and the crumbles there. As I said, guys, if you missed the pistol and shotgun version of this, I'll put a link in the description for that. Uh, but for more videos like this, just check out the uh, caliber comparison playlist on the channel. Want to get yourself any of the products you see me use in my videos, like my Target stand there, targets I use, steel targets, shooting bag, and more. Links in the description for all that. But thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to catch you on the next one. If you guys want to see some bowling balls hit with a 338 Lapua and a 50 BMG, check out my dude's channel, The Hide. Um, he shot some with the 223556 uh, Creed and then the 338 and the 50 BMG. This was about 11 months ago. If you want to scroll through his videos there, or you can just go to my community posts. And uh, it's only a few posts down. Again, about 11 months ago, as of the time of this posting. Um, and on my community post about it, I have a direct link to that video.